So in the previous video tutorial, uh, I'll link it here on the screen, we, I showed you how to do an automated knee. Uh, so just by rotating the foot controller, the knee would try to align in relation to the foot controller, no matter in what relation it had to the body of the character. In this video, I want to show you a mathematical, mathematical approach to the same problem so we're not using any controllers or constraints or anything else in Maya. But instead we're using a node network. And this setup, the math behind it can also be used in a game engine. I haven't implemented it myself yet in any game engine. But the math is exactly the same. So there, theoretically, or hypothetically, sorry about that, it should be working in a game engine. So the result we're going to aim for today is this setup. We only have a leg here, a, a skeleton, and we have an a, a inverse kinematic, uh, do you call it effector? Uh, IK handle, sorry about that. So we have the leg and an IK handle, and when we rotate it, we get the same setup as before. Okay, so this is the node, work, node network. So we'll just clear this one out first. So we don't need that one. We have a blank scene. And we're going to use two key um, concepts. First, we're going to use a cross product to get a pole vector. And to be able to get to that point, we're going to need a, a world matrix to get a world location. If you don't know what a cross product is, you essentially have two vectors, vector A and vector B. In this scenario, it doesn't have to be perpendicular, which is 90 degrees. And when you do the cross product, you will either get this vector that points up or points down depending on right-handed and left-handed coordinate systems or which order we're picking the vectors in. But that is ir irrelevant because when we do this, if we notice that the vector is in the wrong direction, we'll just flip the sign or flip the order of the multiplication and it's fine. We don't need to understand the rules. We just, we can just be happy to be using the cross product and the result it gives us. If you don't know what a, a matrix is when it comes to math and linear algebra, a matrix is just a way of storing the transformation of a point or a vector. And it's, it's a fast way for computers to calculate transformations like translation, rotation, and scale, shearing, and so on. But when you have multiple matrices, you can multiply them together. And at that point, it's almost impossible to read each individual value and uh, there are nodes in Maya to so-called decompose the values in a readable format. When you have a simple matrix like this one you can easily read the translation values but when you multiply multiple together you can't read them just like this. So we're going to just to use a simple trick in Maya to get the translation no matter how complex the matrix is. So en enough about these two. We're using the cross product to get the, a new pole vector and we're going to use the world matrix to get a world translate value. So just to make this super clear, when you have a locator and you see this translate value, I want this no matter, uh, how should I explain this? Uh, you see, I have the group here selected, it has values. But if I go to the locator, you see it's zero. But the world location is still this. And this is the value we want later on. Okay, so we'll delete that. So if we draw this out first, we have the leg. Usually we have a locator and a pole vector looking at that locator and the IK handle. We want to make one vector that direction. We want one vector that direction. We do, do let's call this vector one, vector two. We do a cross product and we get a new pole vector. Super simple. In 
uh, doing this on paper, but we'll need a few nodes. The first vector, we need a location of the thigh, the location of the IK handle. We do a subtraction, we get the first vector. The second vector is a side vector of the IK handle. And this one will need to use a matrix multiplication to get it. So subtract two world locations to get the first vector. We do matrix multiplication to get the second vector. We do a cross product and we get the third vector and the cross product or the pole vector should be done. So let's create our leg. Doesn't have to be a perfect leg. That's probably the most ugly leg I've done in a long time. Um, so we have the leg here. We need to make sure that the uh, rotation vectors here are correct. They need to be pointing in the same direction. Otherwise, you may get flipping and stuff. If I remember correctly, it's a first and second joint that's important in an IK system. So just make sure that they are pointing in the same direction there. The end joint is important here. So we have the thigh here. I'll not name the other ones. Uh, we'll do a IK handle. This is a rotate plane solver, RP solver. And now we have a normal leg setup. We don't need anything else in the scene than these two. So let's go to the node editor. We have the IK handle, we'll add the, the thigh here. And remember in paint, we had the first vector. So we need to create that one. So we want a world matrix here. And we want to do multiply by a point, point matrix multiply. And we have the in matrix here. Um, if you multiply the world matrix with a zero vector, you will get the world location. Also note here, there's something called vector multiply. This one is important that when you multiply a point, this is a point in space, a location. Uh, when you multiply a point, you want it to translate and you will you want a new world location, right? When you have a vector, that's a direction in space. It's not a location, it's a direction. So when you transform a direction with the matrix, you want a new direction. You don't want to start scaling the vector because you'll get new, uh, a, an odd direction that is not the same as you're looking for. So when you're doing a vector multiply, you're essentially telling that this is not a point anymore. This is a vector and you won't translate the point. You will only rotate the vector. So make sure this one is off because we want the world location. We're dealing with points here. Also, to get this node, you need to go to the plugin manager and make sure the matrix nodes are loaded. You can put auto load on. If Maya for some reason crashes, these ones are turned off. So just go in here and turn them off on. Also, there's a second way of getting the translate with the matrix multiply, which is the decompose matrix. Um, let's uh, use this one. So the difference is that the decompose will calculate, translate, rotate, scale, shear, and quaternion. So I, I would automatically assume that this one is a lot more expensive for what we need. We only need a world location. So here we're only doing one matrix multiplication. This one is essentially decomposing the whole matrix into separate values, even for rotations. We don't need that, so don't use that one. Uh, ignore these error messages. I think it has to do with the uh, windows I had open before and it's not finding them. So let's just ignore that for now. So we have the first world location. Uh, so let's call this thigh world location. We'll duplicate this one. We'll call this one IK world location. We'll do the same thing, world matrix. 
and we'll insert it and now we want to end location and we do a plus minus average we want this one so IK handle world location minus the thigh world location that will give us a vector that points downwards and we have to make sure this one is on subtract because we want to subtract so we get the vector let's call this one vector one so we have the first vector done Ta -da. now we want the second vector this one is a bit more tricky so first we need to display the transform local rotation axis so we see which is the side vector because when we rotate the, the IK handle you see the X axis is changing right we want the side vector no matter where it is in world space we want the world values for this so what is X Y and Z in the origin if I put a locator here you see it's zero 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 if I put the value for example 10 here you see it points in the X same direction as the X vector here but only in the origin note that it does not point in the same direction anymore after I transform the IK handle the same thing if I do 10 on the Y axis or 10 on the Z axis right so this is a good reference what we want to do is essentially take this X axis transform and get it to pop or rather get the same direction as the world here right so we'll keep this vec this locator for a while I just want to use it as an example in a few seconds here so um, okay the cursor got stuck there um, so we first need a world matrix we need a point uh, let's do this matrix point there it is point matrix multiply the same as these two we do the input here and we'll call this vector 2 and if we go to the attribute editor you see in point we're not dealing with a point here we're dealing with a vector so we need to change it to a vector we set it to an x vector and this should be enough for this one we're, de we're multiplying the world matrix with an x vector we're getting a new vector and to prove that this works we'll do an output and use it for translate on this one it is now connected note what happens if I I don't know if it's really visible it's really hard to see ah, maybe this angle is better now we're seeing it note that it is pointing in the exact same direction as our x-axis so we know this is working now now we can get rid of these two um, so we have these two vectors right so just to repeat what we just created we created the first vector which points from the thigh down to the IK handle the second vector is the x-axis in world space now we want to take these two and do a cross product so we can get the z-axis so we get the output of vector 1 we do a vector product input 1 and output input 2 let's call this vector 3 uh, pole vector from cross product uh, just to make it super clear what it is and what we want to do is a cross product here in attribute editor uh, it is dot product by default that is something completely different so with that done we just need to connect the output to the IK handle you see the pole vector value this is a vector this is not a world location this is a vector so it will work right away just putting it in there so let's try this out we start rotating and we move it up and it continues to follow the x-axis 
axis. So notice what happened down here in the warning log. Okay, it's freezing for a few seconds there. Um, you see we're getting this cycle. The reason for this is the IK handle, when we're moving it, we're rotating the thigh. And we're using the world, vec world matrix of the thigh to get the world location. The cycle here does not actually break the setup, but the world matrix is changing ro in rotation in relation to the IK handle. So Maya, Maya is detecting a cycle on the world matrix there, but it is not actually breaking anything for, for us. If you want to get rid of the cycle, you can just replace the IK handle in this node hierarchy with your controller. So you use a, a extra controller here, like a cube or something, and you parent constrain the IK handle, and then you use this cube here in the node network. And apart from that, you shouldn't have any problems with the cycle. If you're doing this in a game engine, you would do this programmatically. So you already had the world location from the thigh in step one. Then the IK handle wants to be somewhere in the world. That's step two. We get the vector from these two world locations. We get the side vector. In this scenario, maybe we don't want to use the side vector of the IK handle. Maybe we want to use the pelvis as a default side vector uh, to get a better automated response in the game engine. So then we use the side vector of either the pelvis or the IK handle. We do the cross product in the same way we're doing here to get the direction of the knee and then the game engine uses its own solver to place the leg where it needs to be, right? So even if Maya is whining about a cycle here, it is act, it's fully functional, it's not breaking anything. But if you don't like the message, just replace the IK handle in the hierarchy with a controller or maybe the pelvis or another good frame of reference that, that you think works better for your setup. Because sometimes you may want a, it maybe not do a leg. You might do a fingers, or maybe you're doing some creature. And for them, a better point of reference is not the side vector of the IK handle. It could be whatever you know. You're you're free to do, use whatever you need there. Um, so with this setup done, I I hope you're understanding the concept behind this that you can use the world matrix and transform a point and you get the world location and if you're multiplying a specific point you will get the, and use the vector multiply you will get the direction essentially like the orientation of your vector that you're transforming here um, and then the pole vector is essentially taking two vectors they are like on a plane and then you will get the third vector that's either pointing forward or backwards and you just have to flip um, the inputs. So if you for some reason get the opposite side, just flip the inputs one and two and you should get the opposite side. Also, you don't need to use any normalization in the setup, but Essentially, this is a bit more expensive. Normalization takes a few cycles to calculate, but uh, you shouldn't need this for this setup because the, the pole vector is just a direction in space. So I hope you find this useful and uh, good luck.